Hey guys, bringing you something a little bit different today from the world of McFarlane Toys. I know this isn't DC Multiverse. This is actually McFarlane's new Avatar range. Mostly The Way of Water, but some original Avatar stuff too. And I thought I'd just do a quick video, sort of just showing off a few things that I've picked up. Um, it's not the whole line, uh, it's just a few odds and sods that appeal to me. Um, which I thought might be of interest and I thought I'd do a really quick video just dealing with them all. So first up um, you've got your standard 7 inch scale action figures. Here's Neytiri from Avatar 1. That's her Avatar 1 costume believe it or not. Um, and um, look she's an excellent figure. Pretty cool, pretty poseable. The one thing I'd say about her is I just do not like that her face is so passive. Uh, there's not much expression there at all. Uh, I would have preferred a more action or like uh, emotional expression, like a snarl or a growl or yeah, it's just a bit bland. Um, but she's pretty cool. Um, coming up next is the um, seven inch uh, Tonawari figure. Uh, no spoilers if you haven't seen The Way of Water, but he's a fairly central character in The Way of Water. He's one of the water um, Navi from um, the Metkayina Reef uh, area that plays into the plot. He's really cool. You'll see he's a different shade of blue. Um, he's got a different tail. Uh, he's much taller. He's really awesome. He's probably the highlight of the seven inch figures. Some really great painting on the face. Sculpted detail in his armor. Very cool. And then um, the last seven inch figure that I have at the moment is the uh, Avatar Way of Water, Jake Sully. Um, this is the better Jake Sully figure of the two, Avatar 1 and Avatar 2. This one comes with a, you'll see a battle rifle, which is very nice. The more tactical gear, um, slightly different head sculpt. And um, he also comes with a knife and an axe that are not here. I've had to put them away. Um, now you'll see that I've posed these guys uh, in various ways. It might be worth noting that this structure down the bottom here is actually from a different scale altogether. This is the uh, Metkayina Reef sort of playset from the world of Pandora, which is like a micro scale um, uh, collection. So I'll show you the box. That's the box for it, World of Pandora Metkayina Reef. Um, yeah, it's like a different scale. It, it came with uh, a very, very tiny small scale miniature uh, Tonawari and uh, Ronal figure. They're not pictured here, I put them away. I'm actually using this as kind of like a display base for this seven inch scale stuff. Um, it doesn't quite work, but like it gives you the sense of aquatic landscape. And I think you can just about get away with it. Um, you see that it comes with this really cool sort of bioluminescent effect that's created with these lights. Um, it has some black light effects. Um, I don't have a black light though, I can't test it out, but like, yeah, you can turn this on and off or it comes on and off with a switch of a button if you prefer, but I just have it on. I'll show you what it's like with the lights off in a minute. But that's just a bit of scenery uh, to pose everything and I think it works well. Um, the next seven inch scale uh, item is this um, Setops crab suit. I'll show you the box. There's the Setops crab suit box. It's sort of a what they call a mega figure. Um, it's a really cool looking crab mech. Um, I love it because it's, it's uh, I love it in the movie. I think in the movie it's a really cool design and it moves really well. And um, I just think it's a unique vehicle. Like you don't get many vehicles in this scale and this is certainly one of the more unique you're ever gonna get. And um, I love it. The only problem is that currently there's no pilot. McFarlane has not made a uh, scale pilot figure. Uh, the only uh, human scale figure in the seven inch line is a four inch uh, Colonel Quaritch, um, who for reasons related to the plot, um, does not fit in this vehicle. So it makes no sense. So at the moment, until they release like another uh, soldier or army builder, there is no pilot. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, this crab mech is awesome. My biggest complaint about it um, is that it's not as articulated as you'd think. Like these arms here, you know, they just don't do as much as you would like uh, in terms of articulation. And you know, for example, those fingers are just not articulated at all. So it, it kind of looks 
cooler than it is to play with. Like you can get it in some pretty cool poses, but not as many as you would think, given how many limbs it's got. Like, you know, it, it kind of feels like it was sculpted to have more articulation, but then in the budget, they couldn't work in as much as they wanted. So, you know, it's great. I think it's really, really cool. I like it a lot, but it's, um, could be better, could be better. Um, over here, you would have seen that Jake is riding on the skim wing. Um, if you've seen the movie, you know how cool these things are. Um, this thing is huge. It comes with this awesome display stand. Um, limited articulation. His mouth opens and sort of shuts. Um, the head doesn't rotate at all. Uh, the wings can move up and down a little bit, but they're one big solid piece. And he has all these like little fins that can articulate. Um, these ones too uh, and of course the tails on a ball joint it can come up and down it can also bend it's kind of got some elasticity in it so really cool seven inch um, vehicle slash alien I've got Neytiri's Banshee um, coming uh, hasn't arrived yet but when I have the Banshee I'm gonna set the Banshee up over here sort of swooping in Neytiri will be on the Banshee um, but that'll have to wait I guess until that arrives um, just to show you what this looks like with the lights off Gonna turn these lights off. Hopefully this plays on the camera. You can kind of see that it gives off some pretty decent light. I'll turn this lamp off. Yeah, and you can see it gives off quite a lot of light. Um, looks quite awesome. Um, you can see there's some bioluminescent sort of black light effects going on with the wings of the skin wing, which are quite dynamic and quite awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, um, this Avatar line from McFarlane is amazing. Um, it, it's really high quality. It's quite expensive um, compared to DC Multiverse at least, but um, I think it's worth it. And I really hope he makes a Wave 3. Um, you know, I, I think there's some great possibilities. Uh, I'd love the Sully kids. Um, uh, I'd also love some of uh, Tonawari and Ronal's kids. If you've seen the movie, you know who they are. They're pretty cool. Um, and... Uh, I don't know how far I can go without spoiling anything, but the villains of the film, um, there's certainly some scope for them to make some seven inch uh, villain figures. That's all I'll say about that, but um, I'm sure that's coming. It has to be coming and uh, I'll definitely be getting them if they do make them. But yeah, that's kind of what I've got going in the McFarlane Avatar Way of Waterline. Um, I highly recommend it if you sort of like what McFarlane's doing. I think these are some of his best figures yet that aren't DC. Um, yeah, it's just really unique. There's nothing like it out there and it's executed to a really high quality. I think that you could have a lot of fun actually collecting in this scale. Like they have a whole range in this world of Pandora line with smaller scale figures um, and animals and vehicles. And I think you could create like quite a unique little world at that scale, if that's something you were interested in. Um, yeah, very cool and uh, highly recommended if you can stomach the price point. That's all from me. Um, if this was interesting, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell me if you'll be picking up any of this and tell me what you thought of the movie. Um, I actually thought it was really great and I loved it and um, I'd like to see it again in 3D uh, before it leaves cinemas. So yeah, that's all from me. Catch you later.